Hi, good afternoon. It's a week since the 9th edition NRP update has been released. And uh, obviously, uh, if you are into shares and stocks, I would suggest that you invest in the company that uh, makes Leringer Mask Airways. Just kidding, I'm not good at stocks, but uh, a few important changes which I will be summarizing with some uh, uh, screen recording. But in terms of uh, the impact, I mean, it has become more practical, more pragmatic. Not a huge change, to be honest, so you don't need to worry if you're thorough with the NRP8, uh, not much to change. So essentially, in the algorithm, we have uh, the uh, stress on suction has been removed in the initial steps. The uh, focus on delayed cord clamping, it's expanded. So we have uh, the time uh, specification of 60 seconds rather than 30 to 60 seconds, which is much better. And in terms of uh, the uh, cord milking versus delayed cord clamping, previously it was just said that don't do below 28 weeks, but now they have expanded it to say 35 weeks and above, you can consider uh, cord milking if cord clamping is not possible uh, due to whatever situation, maybe baby is not in a good condition and needs resuscitation. And uh, 28 to 34 weeks, it's not recommended, but you can do it. Uh, there is no clear evidence either way. Below 28 weeks, you shouldn't do it because of the increased risk of IVH. And the third change in the algorithm is basically the one minute uh, cutoff for oxygen uh, saturation has been removed. So it starts from two minutes at 65 to 70 percent, which again is a practical change because uh, very rare to have the pulse oximeter on the baby and reading uh, the saturation by one minute of age. So these are the main changes in terms of the algorithm. Uh, there are uh, other changes. Uh, I mentioned the uh, uh, caught clamping update that uh, duration as well as the uh, uh, the uh, the time time duration of 60 seconds plus the gestation based approach to cord milking then we have uh, some impact on the laryngeal mask airway so it can be used as a primary modality of uh, ventilation either mask ventilation or the laryngeal mask airway not necessarily as an advanced airway we have some uh, pragmatization of the approach in terms of uh, the MR SOPA. So if you, you don't have to go step by step one step at a time, you can decide, suppose the baby needs suction, you go straight for suction. If you think uh, the baby is in a very poor condition, uh, you can go straight for intubation and so on. The time taken to assess the effectiveness of uh, the ventilation has been extended from 15 to uh, 15 seconds to 15 to 30 seconds as a range. This again is a pragmatic approach. The ventilation rate has been changed from 40 to 60 which is a narrow range to 30 to 60 which is more practical because you would fluctuate in the cadence sometimes and you don't want people stressing on this 15 to 30 second window or 30 to 60 breaths so it gives you more flexibility and the same with the MR SOPA step suppose there's a strict uh, uh, supervisor who keeps pushing you